Hey guys, Airsoft Al here. Just wanted to kind of give you a nice little video with the hand, all that good jazz little vlog video real quick before I pass out, more or less, from staying up all night. Literally, I Saturday, stayed up all the way till it's almost 9 o'clock here, so I'm probably going to pass out real soon. Uh, but yesterday, went out to a flea market to try and complete my NCR Ranger loadout, uh, slash cosplay, I guess you could say, and went to the flea market. Well, I found this nice little pack, and... I'm gonna say I kind of unintentionally did a oopsie when you get in this pack, and you'll see the pack, but what came inside the pack, and this is something I found out through talking with other friends from flea markets, that this is an actual practice, and I unintendedly participated in it. But what came in this pack, mind you, this, this supposed mystery pack? Well, first off, a Rothko Woodland Beret. I love berets, I think they're kind of cool, and I saw this in Woodland, and I'm like, you know what, I can't help myself, I actually want to, uh, I kind of want to get this. So, while it's a large, um, it's a seven and a half, actually, uh, that might be a large, but, uh, this is a Rothko, and I just couldn't help myself, I wanted it, because I like strange things, and it's in M81 Woodland, and you know what, I couldn't help myself, I really couldn't, I'm a sucker for M81 Woodland, but, moving on, the other thing are these, a pair of goggles. These, you'll recognize these, you recognize these from any sort of pictures you'll see of the Gulf War, the Middle, any sort of Middle Eastern War. These, you'll find everywhere, and they are ubiquitous in the surplus market, especially in a surplus store, so uh, yeah, I grab, got a pair of these in the, uh, the mystery pack. Moving on, I have a, and what I like about this is that this is a gas mask bag, but uh, from what I've gathered, and here's the kicker, uh, this says M17. So this is an M17 ABC uh, mass protective field, what have you. Basically, with the thing here, I'll be honest, this is kind of cool. I actually did have one of these a long time ago, but um, it's kind of been lost to history, honestly. Like, yeah, one of those things. But it's always cool to have one of these. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm definitely going to use this on my cosplay for a gas mask. Uh, I have a cheek filter mask that'll definitely fit in here, and I think it'll work out pretty well for the uh, whole uh, sort of post-apocalyptic lore style type deal. Or I'll just throw a uh, an Israeli M4 in this thing. I don't know. It, it, one of those things I'll, I'll try to decide, but moving on from there. Some harness. This is uh, old school harness, from my understanding. This is old school Alice. And I never had this. I had the Y-type. It's... It's honestly kind of a cool harness. I might use this uh, instead of the other Alice harness I have because I've under from my understanding these are actually really comfortable. These are actually a lot better load bearing uh, straps. And um, yeah, I just uh, one of those things of it's kind of cute. Let me out to the side. We go to the main thing and how I acquired all these. Oh, here we go. A Alice pack. Big old Alice pack. Uh, <laughs> Has the metal frame on it, has all the cool nifty bobs and all that, just let the cool stuff. Like, no joke, I have always been fascinated by these things, and this is definitely going to be a carry pack I'm going to use. And it's in uh, M81 too, it's got M81 on there, and I love that M81, so uh, yeah, that's, that's more or less how it is. Uh, oh, cool, North American MFG00 US. That's cool, it's honestly cool. Really, that's cool. Uh, more or less, though, how I got all these. Uh, so, how I got all this stuff. This is where it gets kind of um, oopsie, I guess you could say. So, apparently, there is a practice that happens in the indoor flea markets where people actually take these big bags, which I only paid $27 for all this, essentially. Uh, but apparently, people will go into these indoor flea markets to stalls that no one watches over. They just go in there, they resupply whenever. Uh, they go in there, they find the biggest bag possible, they take a price tag with the stall number, with the price on it, rip it off something else, and place it on basically essentially the big bag, and they'll have more stuff in the bag than is actually in there. And people won't check them uh, half the time. Some of these guys do get caught, but half the time nobody checks these things. And people just walk out paying less, but going out with more, essentially, like apparently I did here. Um, 
apparently people will do this and they'll leave them off to the side because, you know, people won't go for something like this unless they're like me and they like, or they're part of the surplus collecting market or they actually like to get stuff like this for like impression kits or, you know, they generally want a good bag for like hiking or something like that. And apparently they go in there and they get more for less. It's scummy. Yes. It's totally not cool. And the thumb here it's just not cool, honestly. It, it, I feel kind of bad, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I, I guess I denied the person them doing this, but at the same time, it's like I participated in doing this. So, I honestly feel bad, but at the same time, I don't feel bad. It's, it's, I don't know. Uh, it's whatever. But yeah, no. Um, so, I unintentionally got more stuff through someone else who was going to do this practice. So, yeah, kind of scummy what they did, but I guess their scumminess allowed me to come out with more than I wanted. Okay. <laughs> uh, fucking whatever. Either way, though, um, besides that little tidbit of some pretty scummy stuff going on in indoor flea markets, um, let me know what you guys think of all this stuff, actually, because this beret is definitely going to be worn, probably, and used because... It's a beret. I love... I, I. People will hate the berets, but I personally like this because it's not the cotton beret. And I've always digged these. I've always been a sucker for, like, the retro goggles, the old goggles, because they just look kind of cool. Uh, but either way, though, uh, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Allen. If you want to dislike this video because of what I did, go ahead. I don't blame you. I Again, I still kind of feel bad for doing this. Uh, but for those of you who have seen this practice also, let me know in the comment section down below, or if you yourself do this, although I don't see anyone actually sounding off saying they do this. Uh, I guess sound off in the comment section. Uh, that's about it, really. Anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al, and um, see y'all next time. Later.